Hey friend, Graham here from recordingrevolution.com. Got a quick video for you today. It's a plugin specific video. This is an old plugin, the Slate Digital FGX. Uh, I've had it for years and it's primarily a mastering style plugin with a mastering grade compressor and limiter, although he doesn't call it a limiter, but it's, it's doing that function, making your mixes louder. And I've covered it on the channel before, but it's funny how I used to actually use this on my mix bus a lot, just in the mixing process. And in the last six months or so, I've, I found myself reaching for this on my mix bus on almost every mix I've been doing. And I was talking about it with someone recently and I wanted to show you what I do. So what I've got here is my mix and I've got a bunch of mix bus plugins on it as usual. And then I've finished it up with FGX, not to make it louder, which is typically what you would do when you're ready to master. This is just for, the transient designer functionality of this plugin. So what I do is I bring it on and uh, actually I'll tell you what, I'll let you just hear it. Take a listen to what it does on and off and then I'll show you the settings and why they work. It's pretty cool. Here it is with it off and then I'll kick it on. Okay, there is a little bit of gain increase, so I'm sorry about that, but really the biggest difference is the kick in the snare. Take a listen again. Kick in the snare gets much, much bigger when I turn it on. It's so cool. The average volume stays about the same, but the punchiness of the very transient heavy stuff like kick and snare really cuts through. It makes the mix seem more real and like jumping out of the speakers. And when I bypass it, it seems like my mix gets really flat. I'm like, oh gosh, it's it's like a 2D version of what I've been doing. And so what I do, what I, I grab FGX, I turn off the compressor that's typically on because I don't need compression. And so I'm just using the FG level. I turn on the constant gain monitoring. This, this ensures that you're not really making the mix louder, although there is a little bit of apparent gain that's unavoidable with this plugin. And then I'm just using three knobs, the low punch, the detail, and the dynamic perception. I typically crank the low punch and detail up to about nine o'clock, and that increases kick and snare. Uh, it's kind of what it dials into. And then the dynamic perception, I crank it up all the way halfway to the top to around 12 o'clock. And that that's like a magic knob. It's like trying to create dynamics that aren't really there. So it I don't, it's a transient designer. It listens to, looks ahead, listens to the audio, and it, it sort of pumps the audio in a way that makes it sound like it's a little more dynamic than it was, which sounds strange, but it's really cool. Primarily if you're using this as a limiter to make your mix louder and then bring dynamics back in. So I like that those features, I just don't need the level. So I keep the constant gain monitoring on, I keep the gain at zero, I'm not adding any gain, and I just crank these up to nine o'clock and these up to 12 o'clock and it gives you this punch. We'll add it again. For really dense music where there's a lot going on, this plugin, when used in this way on the mix bus, really brings out a lot of the, the transients and the dynamics and the punch and the energy in a way that brings your mix to life, especially if you've compressed it and it's starting to get a little bit flatter than you'd like. It's kind of brings a 3D quality to the mix. So I just was thinking about, I'm using this all the time. So if you have FGX, A, you should grab FGX because it's just a, it's one of the best sounding limiters out there. Very, very helpful tool. Um, but B, it's fun and cool to use in a mixing way just to create some punch and life in your mixes. Leave me a comment. Let me know if you use FGX, if you use it for mastering, if you use it for mixing. I'd love to hear your thoughts. As always, thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing to the channel. And thanks for the thumbs up and the likes on the video. It means a lot. Have a great day. Make some great music this week. I'll talk to you on another video real soon.